Hey everybody, Space Goats back here for another uh, quick unboxing video. Uh, today we have a, <coughs> excuse me, a water block for my Asus Tough RTX 3080. These are brand new, just been released. I don't think there's, other than there's some stuff on the internet about them, this is the EK Quantum Vector GP water block plus a back plate. These ship straight from Sylvania and for about $247 with shipping and everything, you can have one of these little bad boys. This is a new water block. I have not opened it yet. Hopefully that's just hardware and a mounting bracket in there that I hear rolling around and it's not broke, but we're fixing to find out together if it's uh, what they look like. So let's start with the back plate. Like I said, these are brand new just been released I got on the pre-order list uh, I think they came out like December 6th I think it was the official release date on these things and my package was shipped at that point in time we got a bag of screws and little washers for the back plate I'm kind of excited to get this RTX 2030, wow, wow, 20, RTX 3080 installed in my new computer. Um, it's going to go in my build over here, which you guys have seen in previous videos, that it has a 2080 Super. And here's our back plate. It comes with, like I said, a bag of hardware, thermal pads for the back plate. I know that's kind of been an issue with some of these 3080s. Is the back plates do not have thermal pads on them but I can say my 3080 tough does have thermal pads on it so what else we got we got some nice big thick uh, thermal pads in here uh, a couple different sizes it looks like looks like there's a look maybe 1.5 mil and a 2 mil I'm just curious Let's get the old calipers out here Yeah, it's a 1.5 mil, or actually it says 1.6, but I think it's a 1.5, and this might be 2 mil. Yeah, 2 mil, so 1.5 and a 2 mil. And if you hear any noise in the background, I had a couple of noisy puppies outside playing, so hopefully they're not too terrible. And there we go. There's our back plate. It's all aluminum, milled aluminum, machined aluminum. So you can see, see all the mill marks and stuff in. I don't know how well that shows up in the camera or not. All the mill marks on the inside of it. Man, that's actually pretty nice. Vector Tough, RTX 3080, 3090. I like the fact though too that <clears throat> when you do this, it takes off two or three inches of the graphics card, you know, because most of these 3080s are all 12 to 13 inches long, so you're losing about two inches of this card so it'll fit a little nicer in cases and stuff actually I have a, a friend of mine just got a 3080 gigabyte card and he had to do some cutting and modifying to his original case to be able to get the card to actually fit in the case so but anyways that's our back plate so let's uh, set this over here out of the way well, let's get to the to the goods or the other goods anyways set that over there out of the way get the hardware out of the way screw size oh, like he gave us a little guide for figuring out how long your screws are and a little little measuring tape on a on a card okay i guess there are different sizes of screws in the package actually there is a couple two three different sizes of screws and some nuts all right let's get to the big boy here so hopefully I'll uh, get this thing installed on the new water block uh, this weekend hopefully we get video out for anybody else does you know I'm trying to be a fancy youtuber 
Hey, EK. You can send me some free goodies if you like. A little shout out. Get a little sponsor gift. All right. Let's see what we got in here. We got, oops, more thermal pads. Some thin ones in here. So probably ought to keep these things separate so I know which ones go where. So much thin ones, not pre-applied. Whole big old bag of plastic washers and screws and Allen wrenches. One of the little key nuts or an Allen wrench for plugs and stuff. And thermal compound, all in a little bag together. Be nice if that stuff would kind of separate out in, in individual bags so you're not having to dig through and having to organize and figure out what goes where and use their little measuring card for insulation but to make it easier for somebody that's that's um, not so good at working with tools and stuff make it a little easier for some folks me I don't care because well, I do it every day so whatever all right that's wow I will admit I hate to say it their packing is a little lacking ek uh, you guys could probably do a little better with i just spent 175 dollars on a graph on, on a water block for this card but this is of course you saw it free floating around in the bag a box okay fine but i haven't looked at the graphics card yet or the water block yet and it it's, it's free floating in a box with a thin layer of foam on top and bottom of it really i mean come on guys I just dropped $175 on a water block plus uh, another $26 in shipping between the water block and the and the back plate. And we can't line this box with a piece of foam that this thing sets inside of. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. So, anyways, there it is. <clears throat> in all its glory, it's not damaged, so I guess... That extra 50 cents worth of foam is not needed. Hell, I wouldn't mind paying extra 50 cents if I had to to make sure I get something intact and not have to worry about trying to return it or anything like that. But, in any case, this is it. Well, there's the card. Now, okay. That's a little, uh, a little janky, but I guess I can't complain for having one of the very first water blocks for a tough card. There she is, all nice and shiny and pretty and everything else. Hopefully, I'm getting this. Uh, yeah, it's mostly metal video. <clears throat> There's the water block. It is supposed to light up on the top does have a little RGB strip in it down here in the edge so that's it it's pretty clean I don't understand though is the wiring thing here in the back I mean really you guys couldn't design a, a channel or something that this thing feeds down into when it when it's milled to kind of run back over here i mean a few extra seconds extra seconds on this water block or something on this plate they could have stuck this uh stuck this line or something kind of down in this channel right here or something so that's just a gap for well you probably have some capacitors or something right here i mean but they could have done something with this So I guess I don't know what I'm gonna do with this with this cable here. It does have a little fitting right here, a little connector to tie the two together for the RGB part of it. That way you get the top and bottom. It does have a three-pin addressable RGB connector, so that'll plug straight into the motherboard for your RGB. My system, I'm running all Corsair stuff, so I might end up. Uh, uh, I might end up trying to re rewire this so I can tie this into my Corsair stuff. I, I don't know yet. 
anyways though that's that's first look at it like I said other than a little bit of packaging and a kind of an odd wire setup that's it I mean other than the quality of the block itself is pretty nice though so all right guys well until the next video um, I have one upload coming today I'll get this 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 one uploaded probably tomorrow and hopefully this weekend I'll see about swapping these cart well I'll at least do a video on installing this water block in the back plate I may not install the card yet into my system because that requires draining the loop and remaking some water lines because this card is a little bit shorter and where the location of these fittings are is going to be a little bit different than than the card I currently have so but until next time I'll catch y'all later <laughs>